very fresh 35 minutes ago now as soon as the build is completed if you see the version got updated this folder i'm using for uh, azure ks and this folder i'm using for uh, gke cluster as i'm using argo cd so i need to point it to some directories then only it will work the commit id is now the pod with this image id with this image and this tag it will get deployed in both gke as well as azure ks let's see this is for ksa which i am referring to azure ks and there is one more directory helm app which i am referring to gke now let's see by default like argo cd will check every three minutes uh, like every three minutes it will check whether do we have any changes in data or not if we want to immediately uh, make it available then we just need to click on this sync option so that immediately it will just connect to git and then it will fetch the changes but let's see like how much time it will take by default it is three minutes uh, it's a known thing but still i just wanted to wait for argo c2 to deploy that application instead of me just going and clicking sync even we can customize this timing as well we can make it to one minute or two minutes it depends meanwhile i'll just check this one no it's still it will take some time let's wait for some more time in the meantime i will just show you like uh, it's a like basic one basic uh, ca file where i'm just building building that image and pushing it to my azure acr and then i'm updating two directories one is meant for like uh, just forget about this name uh, one one first one this one is for uh, helm app directory and second one is for ksl and in argo cd i'm referring to these two directories so that it will fetch the changes and then i'm committing argo cd will keep keep checking like uh, every three minutes as i mentioned earlier if you want to see then uh, directly i can sing but i wanted to wait and see like in a live uh, here the condition is we want if we want to achieve at a single time like if we want to have our changes reflect in two different clusters in a single in a one time then we need to make sure like whatever the image tag we are updating we should update in both directories then only in two different destinations we will be able to deploy this is like a prerequisite for this approach like whatever i am showing this is uh, like primary a prerequisite i am just mentioning second thing is we need to have argo cd in both the clusters so that we can just point it to our github now i'll show i think it's fetching now if you see now the old parts are getting terminated he, even here as well no here maybe it will take some time here we can see like now the old parts are gone and the new changes has been reflected here also i think it will be the same it will it will pull the changes now let's describe the pod I'm just trying to relate this tag ID three five zero FC seven eight. Three five zero FC seven eight. Yes, it's terminating. We can make use of Argo CD and GitHub Actions. So it's quite simple. 
we are not using any CD tool like Jenkins. We don't have any uh, Jenkins EC2 instance running for this build. It's just a GitHub Actions and Argo CD. It's a it's a powerful combination. But we need to understand like how it works in case of any issues. How we need to resolve. We need to have uh, knowledge about Argo CD especially. Why? Because if something goes wrong, then it's easy to deploy. But if something goes wrong, then we need to manage it accordingly. So we need to know like how this controller or how this Argo CD works. So in next session, I'll talk in detail about Argo CD. Thanks for watching. Thanks for now. Have a great day.